everyone welcome back to my channel today i am here to share my last finish for the month of october um i'm not quite sure when this video will be posted but uh, today is the day before halloween so i was able to finish uh four kits this month uh i probably have already posted my month in review so if you haven't uh, caught that video where i go through all of my kits for the month i will link it down below um, but this was my fourth finish. I was kind of on the fence if I would be able to get this one completed, but I did finish it. Um, super excited about that because I have been looking forward to this kit since it came out. And I want to say this has been out for well over a year at this point. And I do believe that this is either being discontinued or has been discontinued over at Diamond Art Club. Um, they have gotten rid of a few Hannah Lynn's which kind of concerned me at first, but they had a um, one of their voting polls in their VIP group and I saw some new Hannah Lynn's in that poll. So I was really happy to see that it looks like they're continuing their partnership with her and just bringing some new art. Um, but I'm sure you can find this one in D stash groups if it's not available anymore. Um, I remember it being disc like being on the last chance section. I just don't know if it's sold out or not. I forgot to check before I started filming. Anyway, um, this is Alley Cat again by Hannah Lynn and Diamond Art Club. It is a 46 by 64 centimeter square drill. And I just think she's so cute. I remember when this one came out and I was like, oh man, I need it. <laughs> um, so I really, really wanted to squeeze it in this October, and I did. I think it's the perfect, obviously, little Halloween kit. She looks like a little trick-or-treater. Um, so I think that she turned out really, really cute. It is a smaller size kit, um, and it just, it was fun. It was fun to work on. I find that Hannah Lynn's are very color blocky, um, and that I can move through them rather quickly. I did use a multi-placer. Um, on this kit, so I did feel like I finished it pretty quickly. Uh, I think I finished it in about a week, uh, maybe a little over a week. And yeah, okay, let me talk about um, a few things and then we will go through the drills and stuff. So everything I wrote down were things that weren't great. <laughs> I have a little uh, notebook that I like to uh, put all of my notes for post reviews and video ideas. So everything I wrote down for this kit uh, were things that weren't so great, but let me mention the things that I did like first and then we will go over the things that I wrote down. So I think that she rendered really great, especially for this smaller size. Um, this is such a fun size to work on. I feel like you can move through it pretty quickly. Um, whether you're a single placer or a multi-placer or you feel like you're a slower diamond painter, um, I feel like this is a really great size if you're looking for that sense of accomplishment in finishing a kit. Um, I, like I said, I think she rendered really cool. Um, I loved the AB placement. One of my favorite things about Hannah Lynn's artwork is her hair, the way that she draws the hair, the way that she colors it in, and then the way that Diamond Art Club renders it. I think that the hair always just turns out so great. There are a lot of orange ABs throughout there. Uh, I feel a drill that's popping up. I don't know if I can get it though. Um, there were some orange ABs in the moon here. She has some green ABs in her eyeshadow. And there was one more, I think it was a blue. Yeah, so she has some blue in her little tutu down here, which I think is so cute. I also really loved the colors. I feel like I worked on a few kind of darker images and I feel like as I move through the year, they'll just kind of overall be a little bit darker instead of those really bright colors. So it was really fun. Actually, I take that back. I do have a kit coming up with a lot of bright colors, so I take it back. But it was fun this month to have this this kit that was super bright and cheerful and it just kind of epitomizes Halloween um, if you celebrate, if you go trick-or-treating. I think this is just a really, really cute image and I did really enjoy working on it. Um, I love the attention to detail in a lot of areas. So the, I think the paw prints in her skirt came out really nicely. You have these little swirls around the body of her dress. 
I think that came out great. I think the rendering in the background, um, I think this is supposed to be like a spooky or like a haunted house or something. I think it all just turned out really nice. I love the, what appears to be like cornfields or wheat fields to me. Um, but overall, I think that she's just really cute. Um, as far as the things that I wrote down that I didn't necessarily love, it it's not anything like bad. Nothing that deterred me or stopped me from working on this kit. Just things that I wanted to note for you guys. Um, I did have some issues with the drills, so I will talk about that in a second. Um, but as far as the canvas is concerned, if you cut this in half, so you know, roughly right here, this section at the bottom, the adhesive was awful. I was so annoyed <laughs> by the end of this area and I was like, I hope this gets better. I really hope. It was the worst at the bottom. I was laying drills down, whether it be with a single placer or a, or a multi-placer and they would not come off of my pen. I even switched from micro glue dots in my single placer to um, this this wax from Diamond Drills USA. So it's just like a white version of pink wax. I switched to that and that wasn't helping. I was just really struggling. But when I got past the halfway point and I got towards the top, that problem for the most part seemed to go away. So I don't know if it was, I don't really know what it was. I don't know why um, that happened. I have been having that happen pretty recently with Diamond Art Clip Kits. Um, this is an older one. Like I said, I've had it in my stash for at least a year and a half at this point. And um, I don't know. It's just something that seems to be happening. I have not worked on a new, like recent released Diamond Art Club in a while. So maybe that problem has gone away. I hope that's the case. I hope it's not an issue of kits that are sitting for too long because I have a very large Diamond Art Club stash. Um... I have worked on older Diamond Art Clubs and I haven't had that problem. I'm just not quite sure where the issue is with that. Um, but again, I'm happy to report that as I moved through towards the top, uh, the issue seemed for the most part to resolve itself. I feel another drill that I again can't get. That's okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about the drills. Got the trash here. So the first thing I wrote down was that I had the worst clumping drills that I've worked with in quite a, quite a while. Um, and there were two particular colors that I wrote down being 3856 and 740. Now in the container, they don't look too bad, but as I poured them out, you can kind of see it in the 3865. They just clumped up like nobody's business and I would pour them in the tray shake it and it would just be clumps of drills now I do have a drill grinder from Bella Art Dana Cole that I have shared on my channel before that I really love it's very helpful but it's still annoying to have clumping drills um, now it wasn't every color which is great um, those are the two colors that really stood out to me as the ones that had that problem um but it is what it is. You use a drill grinder. It's not the end of the year. The end of the year? What? <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Um, just something that I wanted to note. Uh, there were two symbols that I actually mixed up. And I, not to like toot my own horn, but I very, very rarely mix up drills. Just the way my brain works. It's not something that happens. Um, symbols. Oh, hello, Luna. Symbols don't generally confuse me. And when I work on a diamond painting, I work on it in every direction. I'm always flipping it, uh, turning it upside down, right side, sideways. Um, but my brain just, for the most part, doesn't mix up symbols. However, on this kit, I mixed up two symbols. And it was these two, 433 and 434, which in their containers, they don't look very similar you can just you can see the difference but on the canvas they were right next to each other pretty much anywhere one color was charted the other one was there as well and the color of the symbols on the canvas was nearly identical 
Um, that could just be the way that mine printed, you know, it, it, you never know, it could be a variation of, of things. But I did mix these up a couple of times. And obviously, once I realized I was doing it, I was like, oh, shoot, I've been mixing these up the whole time. Um, but I think I caught it, or I fixed it in most instances. But it is just something I wanted to note if you have this kit. Just be mindful that these two symbols look very similar and they appear as very close in color on the canvas. Uh, something else I noticed was that these drills smelt so bad. So I was diamond painting one night and I was shaking the drills and I was like, what is that smell? And I thought it was just something around me. I didn't know if it was something in the house. So I start shaking the drills again and I smelt it. Didn't really consider that it could have been the drills. Um, and then the next night I was diamond painting again. Yeah, they smell so bad. <laughs> and I smelt it again and I was like, it's the drills, specifically the 310. I can't even describe the smell to you because I hate it so much. It just smells really bad. It kind of smells like when you leave wet laundry in a washer too long you know like you forget that you have laundry growing and it's like three days later and you go down to put a load in and you realize you have a load in the washer that's what this smells like to me and i don't like it <laughs> uh again not the end of the world but it was something i wanted to note and the other thing is i felt like i had a lot of trash for this size image so i used this really cute minder from bella art dana cole it's one of their uh, trash minders. I got mine last year, but I am pretty sure that they had them again this year. I know this video is going up past Halloween, but maybe you'll be able to find them in their shop still. Let me get all these out. Okay, so keep in mind again, this is a roughly a 40 by 60. Um, it's a 42, I think by 64. And I felt like I had quite a bit of trash. Now, these are the old square drills. So it's the uh, the square drills that have, what is it? A mix of nine and 13 facets, as opposed to their new squares, which are just the 13 facets. So they are older. I had a lot of problems with the black drills, as you can see. And I had a lot of issues with them being connected. So let me see if I can get, so like, see how these two drills are fully connected? I have a lot of that. I think I have three here that are connected. And then I had a lot of drills that had holes on top. Now, I don't think this is like an awful amount of trash, but I do think it's quite a bit for the size canvas this is. But if you watch my post reviews, I often say, as long as I have enough drills to complete the kit, as long as I'm not running out of drills, I don't care too much about trash. Um, but if I have so much trash that I'm running out of a color that I need, that doesn't make me very happy. So I'm happy to report I did not run out of anything. I had plenty of drills. I am kind of on the fence about keeping these drills though. Um, I normally keep all of my drills unless it's a, a batch of drills that I think are awful, <laughs> which has happened before. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence about keeping these. Since they're the older Diamond Art Clubs, I may just dump them in my bin. I don't really know. Not my bin. Not like my garbage bin. My bin. My jar of <laughs> drills. Uh, so those are my thoughts on the kit. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I don't know that I've prompted myself to put up a full-size picture. I will do it right here, um, but you're getting most of it in frame anyway. Um, I think she's super cute. I did really enjoy working on her. I'm excited to have this one finished. It's actually my first Hannah Lynn of the year, which I don't know how I made it to October without having done one. Um, so I am really happy to have this finish. Now let me share my accessories with you guys. So I showed you my little trash drill. This is from Bella Arte Nicole. I did use the Elizabeth Ward storage. 
My tray is from Tori's Diamond Tools. I'm going to be honest, I didn't love this tray as much as I hoped I would. I purchased a few of her trays a few months ago at this point, and somebody had commented to use it with square drills, said it worked better. Um, I struggled. I had a lot of drills that wouldn't flip around. Now, could that be because of an issue with size from Diamond Art Club? Yes. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see that there are a lot of drills that aren't flipped the right way. Uh, and that just got kind of annoying trying to work around. I will definitely give this another shot. I have a couple other colors and I think I have another uh, tray variation. So I will definitely give these another chance. Um, but my first impression was I didn't love it. Um, but I think I'll try it with rounds next time. And maybe I'll try it with some of Diamond Art Club's new squares. I just feel like a lot of stuff gets stuck in the grooves right here and it was just kind of annoying to work with. Um, my pen is from Enablers Outpost. I did share this one in a recent haul. Uh, it has a bunch of black cat glitters. My minder, I believe, is from Galloway's Gallery. I will have to go back and double check that. I'll link the shop down below. I just thought it was too cute and the perfect fit for this kit. I used the white wax from Diamond Drills USA in my single placer, and I used the trick or treat putty from Excuse Me Designs in my multi placer. And for my washi tape, I used one of these skinny MT tapes. I got this in a large set from Amazon. And then my favorite, <laughs> I think this might be my favorite washi. Um, this is from Amanda Michelle Designs, and it's just a bunch of cats dressed up in Halloween costumes. I thought it was so cute. Loved that one. So those are my thoughts on this finish. Again, this is Alley Cat from Diamond Art Club and Hannah Lynn. It's a 42 centimeter by 64 centimeter square drill. Um, like I mentioned, I do believe that this is gone. Uh, I know it was on the last chance list. I just forgot to check and see if it was still available, um, but it is regardless discontinued. So if it's no longer on the website, definitely keep an eye out on some D-Stash groups on Facebook. She was really fun to work on and I would definitely recommend. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's post review. I hope you all had a happy Halloween. I'm going to be a little late on that, but I hope you did because it's still October 30th when I'm filming. So Halloween hasn't happened yet, um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you all next time. Bye.